Welcome! Today we will be making roasted masala goan prawn or shrimp curry with coconut milk. Let's see what we need for our curry. I have here a little over one pound, close to half a kilo of prawns that I've marinated in some chopped garlic and pepper and salt. I have onions chopped, either two medium sized or three small onions, two tomatoes chopped fine, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and some tamarind soaking in water, about a lemon sized ball of tamarind, one cup of coconut milk, one teaspoon of turmeric, a handful of cilantro or coriander and some curry leaves. So that's for our curry. Now let's see what we need for our masala paste. I have fresh coconut, half a cup, coriander seeds, two tablespoons, cumin or jeera seeds, two teaspoons, some Kashmiri or even dried red chilies, about four or five depending on the spice, whole peppercorns, one teaspoon, and I have about eight cloves and a small piece of cinnamon. So we're going to start by dry roasting our ingredients and grinding it to a fine paste. I have a stainless steel pan that's heating on medium heat. I'm going to start adding our ingredients for the masala paste. So cumin or jeera, coriander seeds, whole peppercorns, whole spices, and the dried red chili crushed. Now you can start by roasting this. In the ingredients are dry roasting on this pan. Next to it I have a pot with a couple tablespoons of oil heating. I'm going to start making my curry by adding some curry leaves. onion. Now that's quite a bit of onion but you'll need it for a thick delicious curry. So cook this down with a, a little bit of salt. Cook it down. So, the, so my onions are cooking down nicely. I've turned this on low and I am going to start grinding my coconut masala base. So I'm going to put it in a little grinder with some water and grind it to a thick paste. So I've ground my coconut paste now in the pot I'm going to add ginger garlic paste, turmeric powder and the tomatoes and cook it down well. Cook it down well with a little water so the tomatoes are well disintegrated. My onions have cooked down. I added a little extra oil so oil comes out. I really cooked it down to a fine paste. Now I can add my coconut mixture. You might want to lower the heat as the coconut paste can splash. So continue cooking this for another 5-10 minutes on slow fire. Onions and tomatoes were cooking. I added the, the stalks of the cilantro and I'm going to add the tamarind just a little bit. You can, you can adjust it to your, to your taste. So once you add it, you can add more or less depending on how sour you need it.
let that cook down. I can now add the shrimp, the marinating shrimp. Give it a good stir and let the shrimp cook for about um, four or five minutes before you add the coconut milk. The shrimp masala is now ready for me to add the coconut milk and give it a good stir. You can add some water if you want it thinner but cook it on low flame till the coconut milk is completely cooked and um, it's all integrated. Go and prawn masala with coconut milk is now ready. Masala curry. I'm serving it in a bowl. Your roasted masala goan prawn coconut milk curry is now ready. Enjoy!